everybody, uh, today we're going to look at applying bronzer. So basically you need three things, your brush, and I have an, an Eco Tools one, um, your bronzer, and I'm going to use Nature's Inspiration Banger Bell. It's quite a soft bronzer as they go, um, simply because I have really pale skin, so I want a hint of colour, I don't want to be tangled, and a piece of kitchen roll. So basically what I'm going to do is using different tips and methods that I've collected over the past few years and using your brush and this is the Nico Toast brush and if you just take a wee look it's actually the way the bristles are formed uh, which is why I like it so much. So you can see it's more of an a fan shape but there's still quite a bit of body to it. So just dip your bronzer, your sorry your brush into your bronzer and then dab it on the on the kitchen roll or tissue and you're just removing any excess bronzer and spread it out more evenly among the bristles because you don't want too much bronzer in the one area then um, it's actually in a motion of three at either end of your face that you're going to apply I would always start under the cheekbone and um, just because it is the time you're going to have the most product on the brush so that's the area that will have the most um, so I would just dab down the cheekbone, underneath the cheekbone side. And you can see it just creates definition in your face whenever you're looking head on. Um, the thing about it is you can go back and get more product. So it's always best to start with less. And bronzer is one of them things you can get a bit carried away with. So then, just what I would do is I would bring it down in the jawline. So instead of actually going back into the bronzer um, pot, I would just go back to the tissue paper. And then you're dabbing along. You can just see there the definition of what's actually bringing out in my face shape. Right, so then we're moving on to the forehead, and I would start just from where you finished and just sweep up. And I would go much lighter on the forehead because you don't want to leave it that you're overly dark. So you can see there. The heaviest, or sorry, the most amount of product I have applied is under the cheekbone, and then just swept it along the jawline and up over the forehead. And you can just see the, the contrast there in the, the colour in my face, and even if it, it makes me look like I have a much more of a cheekbone than I have. So I'll just even up the rest of the face. And just dabbing under the cheekbone, sweeping down, and then up as well. Right, and what I would just do at the end with whatever's left on the brush, you don't really want a lot of product for this. Is go down just the centre of the face because you don't want like a really white chin and really white nose and the centre of your forehead so just dust your chin, your nose and your forehead. Right, so you can see already the difference that has made and um, whenever you then add blusher it'll just highlight the features in your face. So folks um that's it really. Um would appreciate any feedback, any tips anyone else has. And I'll chat to you soon. Bye.